Say hi. Ah, Josiah. Hello, bestie. So today's video is going to be a declutter with me. We all know I love a good organization declutter video. It's my favorite thing to do. It's just like a little therapy session. It just does something to me, seeing everything all neat and clean and knowing that I did that. So we're going to do that today. I mainly want to tackle Josiah's room. I want to get rid of all of the baby things that no longer serve him anymore. He is our last child, so I don't need them anymore. I know he has a ton of toys in there that he doesn't reach for anymore. So I want to just gather all of that stuff up and donate it because I know another mama can use it instead of it collecting dust in my house. So I want to go ahead and do that. I also want to do a toy rotation in the playroom. We did just get a love every play kit so I wanted to set that up. That always brings the kids so much joy. We've been getting love every play kit since Jade was a newborn. So that's kind of the plan for today. This week has been super chill. The kids actually got two snow days in a row. So Layla and Aurora did not go to school this week on Monday or Tuesday. They got to play out in the snow for a little bit. We did like Play-Doh, we made some friendship bracelets. Layla made some friendship bracelets for her friends at school. And that just makes me so happy to say because it just makes me so happy as a mom to know that she has like best friends now and she wants to like share bracelets. I think that's just like the sweetest thing. So yeah, that was kind of like a recap of our week. But let's go ahead and get this declutter organization going. So I want to go through this area right here. I know there's a ton of baby toys like this one that he no longer plays with. So I want to go through that. And then I also want to go through his closet because I know there's a ton of things in here. I need to go through his books, organize those because it's kind of crazy up there. I need to go through these bins, see what I can get rid of. This is his Halloween costume this year, by the way. So I'm gonna do two piles, donation and keep. So this one, he doesn't reach for this one anymore. This one was a love toy when he was smaller, but now he just does not share an interest in it. It's pretty much new still, it's in really good condition. So I'm gonna donate that one. This is just a little puppy. He's really into balls, so I'm gonna keep the balls. Not this one though, because this one is foam and I have seen him try to buy this one a few times so that's dangerous so i'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of this one he's not into these ones anymore but these were a must if you have a child that loves to like look at books and stuff but they tend to rip the pages or chew on them all that stuff get these these are the indestructibles they're true proof rip proof non-toxic and 100 percent washable they are the best as you can see this book is <laughs> very loved he would go through this a million times and they literally are indestructible. So these are amazing. Josiah loves this little guy. So we're going to keep that one. Spidey, of course, got to keep his first book. It has like family pictures in here. This one, he doesn't reach for anymore. It's a little love every book. Donation. This guy, he doesn't reach for this one anymore, so donation. Rainbow ball, donation. This one, donation too. He loved this one, but now he just doesn't reach for it. My kids love these as a newborn. I would just kind of do like little playtime with them, but donation, sadly. This isn't even Josiah's. I think this is like Jade's or Rory's, so I gotta stick that in their room. This one, he sometimes reaches for it, so I'll keep it for now. But this one will probably be on the donation list in a while. This teether, he loved this little teether dog. Maybe I'll just keep this one as like a little sentimental thing. This one, he doesn't reach for it, but I feel like this is a good car toy. So I'm going to stick this in the car and see if it'll keep him entertained this one actually goes in the bath it's a little boat so i'm gonna stick that in the bath this one was another well-loved toy especially um jade because this was jade's baby toy she loved this one josiah didn't really care for it that much so donate the stacking cups oh my goodness such a simple toy 
but for some reason they love stacking it you can stack it like this or you can stack it this way as well you can also take these in the bath because they have little like pictures on the bottom so the water just drains out of them this one does not hold his interest at all jade loved this one but josiah doesn't care for it you just turn it to make pictures this one he does reach for pretty much every single time he's in his room so i'm gonna keep this one it's just a little sorter with the blocks this little wooden bench we're going to keep but i just want to go through the little pieces and make sure there's nothing else in here like this I'm also going to keep this little Tykes story machine. This thing is amazing. Let's see if I can show it to you really quickly. So it comes with three little stories, but you can buy some more. So you just get the story out, pop it in right here. You wait for this to be done. And then once it's done, you just push play. And then it projects and it looks like that. So he loves this thing. It comes in handy for bedtime i plan on getting him some more stories for christmas in there. oh i've been looking for this these are his yodo cards so i just keep them in my little like bagu pouch so these are his current cards that he's loving i also plan on getting him some more for christmas i am gonna do a what i get my kids for christmas video really soon by the way i know you guys love seeing that and i love watching other people make those videos too so i definitely want to make that so some of his favorite Yodo cards. This is his Yodo, by the way. If you're not familiar with it, it's amazing. You should get one. And if you're wondering about the cards too, they're pretty much like indestructible. Josie plays with these cards sometimes. He does it himself. He's one and a half, like I said. So they're very, very durable. So his favorite cards are the story of Ferdinand, the very hungry caterpillar and other stories, a must. Winnie the Pooh absolutely loves that one and then we have a make your own card so benny was gone all of last year during josiah's first year of life so before benny left i had him read some of the kids favorite books and then we added his recordings onto this card so that way the kids could hear his voice for bedtime brown bear brown bear what do you see so oh, you see a red one. A hug is for holding me. So yeah, that's kind of the Yodo player. I am Yodo's number one fan, so I love that. And then the last thing that's in his bin are these blocks. I'm definitely going to keep these. They're like silicone blocks, so they're like safe to chew on, safe to like throw. Let me clean up. Clean up. Clean up. This is what his bin looks like now. Definitely ready for some Christmas toys to fill it up. Yeah. Of course, now that I'm taking out toys, he wants to show an interest in them, right? I swear that's how it always goes. Jade, yeah? do you see Brother's pacifier downstairs? I think it's on the kitchen counter. Okay. I love Before I dive into our new Love Every Play Kit, I'm gonna quickly clean all of this up. Thank you. That's much better. Here is our Love Every Play Kit. So this one is the Persister. It's for 55, 56, and 57 months. Each play kit also comes with a play guide to help you 
kind of navigate everything that's in your box. Breaks it down more. It has, um, it has expert tips in here. It has at home activities in here. So this is a really great guide. Everything is all laid out, so let's go ahead and dive into this play kit. So first up is the Path Builder Marble Maze. Layla is going to be my helper, so she is going to figure this one out. Next, we have the Montessori Movable Alphabet Game. So that's this one right here. So it comes with different cards. Has the words and the pictures with all of the letters so your child can build the word. And then you can put the letters on the board. It also comes with a little carrying case for the board. So you can put the board in here, these in here, and then take it on the go. Layla ended up figuring out the maze for me while I was showing you guys everything else. So here is the maze. So you get the card put it on and then you get these little like peg tracks stick them on correctly according to this and then you drop your marble into the green and then you have to move this each love every play kit always comes with a book so this one is jilly and jet the last thing in the play kit is like a little fidget toy i always love how the love every toys are good in but they're not like boring beige toys. <laughs> they're still fun and colorful. Comes with a little guide. So this is breathing activities, a guide for your calming circle, which is perfect because we literally have an entire calm down caddy right here in our playroom. Some exercises that they have in here is belly breaths. Breathe in slowly through your nose. Let your belly get big as it fills with air. I absolutely love this. I'm actually going to put this in our calm down caddy. Let's put this one here. The other blue one. Yeah. Nice. There. Now you can put the marble. Let's put the this marble. down here. Hmm? In the green. Okay. You gotta move the maze. Uh. Get it to the red. Uh, back towards you. I can't. <laughs> like this look. Keep going, Jade. Uh, <gasps> Woo! Yeah. yeah, that's a tricky one. <laughs> you gotta turn it quickly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. Yay! So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in our yeah. calm down basket. I'm gonna add the book on our shelf. And then I think I'm actually going to just go ahead and leave the Halloween stuff out because I didn't realize how close Halloween is now. So I'm gonna leave this and then I will do a full toy rotation after the holiday. And then our homeschool cabinet, homeschool area is right off of the playroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this set to our homeschool cabinet. We already have like dry erase markers and stuff. Chalkboard. So this is like a perfect addition for right here. We also have the Love Every Weather Board, which we got in another play kit. And then this set, I'm gonna stick inside. Just fit it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed going through Josie's little toys with me, doing just a little toy rotation, just adding a few things here and there. Stay tuned for a full toy rotation, because like I said, I will do it after Halloween. And then I still need to go through Josie's closet, but I gotta go in a couple minutes. I gotta go pick up Aurora from school. Layla didn't go to school today because she actually went to the eye doctor today. So... So yeah, but don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.